this money, talking hundred, hundred, hundred. My city say I run it, cause I never ever fuck. Every time I say it, make the pretty woman love me. How to be a poor, be a homie, be a plumber. Sunset, summer, all black pudding. I got more gas than the H3 Hummer. How it came about is that I came up with like a concept of when I was, cause I did the car too, right? And I started working on Dakar 3, I started making new music. And I came up with a concept of how I wanted to do it. I wanted it to have features from outside the country also, you know. I, I wanted to make it as global as I could, you know. Um, and, and so I drew up a list of people I wanted to work with, you know what I mean. And we literally sent someone to the States to kind of um, put all those things together, you know. Um, and, and I think Wale was like... Um, we had we had secured something else and then something else and then Wale also agreed to do it, you know. So it, it just literally happened outside of that. I mean, what we do is that uh, went to him, played him some of my stuff um, that I'd done previously, you know, because I feel like whenever you want to work with me, you kind of at least have to uh, vibe with what I've done, you know. So get him used to that, and then he got used to it. He liked it, and he said, "Yo, just send me the joint." And I I'm, I, I worked on the song. Um, and, and as soon as I worked on a song, I sent him the chorus and the following day he sent me the verse. I asked myself, what's the best way to sell our culture if, if, if we don't use people that are already influential in, in, in the Western culture? You know what I mean? If we don't use that as a pipeline to get through because um, so that we, we can amplify our message, you know. Um, I'm K1, I'm Katla Hong, you know what I mean? I'm all these people here, you know what I mean? Um, so, uh, why Wale is because I want to share this message. All these people that are here, I want to take their story to um, the United States, I want to take their stories to Europe, I want to take their stories to East, West, North Africa, you know what I mean? Um, and, and the best way to do that, I figured, is, is, is to use influential, pe influential people in those places, you know, so, um, and also, but obviously you'll never compromise the music so i also have to be a fan of the artist first you know what i mean and then how we make it work is then how it works but the songs will always represent uh, the south african youth that grew up in the same way that i did yeah, I have this 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 platform set up that we're trying to do or that we're doing already actually. Uh, it rap life, you know. Uh, it's literally designed to go to um, everybody gets a shot, right? Uh, when I came up um, like ten years ago, I realized one thing. I got a, I got I was given a shot by uh, Slicker and Sugar Smacks at Butter Ping, you know. Um, but I realized there was a shortage of these platforms, you know, there were so many dope artists, but there was not enough platforms to sort of help them, you know, um, amplify to, 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 the, to the nation, you know, to the rest of the country. So what we're trying to do with Rap Life, uh, we're trying to build that sort of thing where we take artists, you're dope, but you don't have the platform, here it is, we could share it, we could share the stage, we could share everything, pretty much. We just literally, our only job is to just literally give you the platform and what you do with it is up to you, you know what I mean? We'll guide here and there, we'll do this, but we're not trying to open up a, um, a shop where we, we, we kind of decide what the artist wants to do. The artist keeps his artistry, you know, the artist designs it however he wants it and no, we, we supply the platform. But there is um, a clause to all of that and, and that is whenever you're done with that, you also need to open up a platform for somebody else. <laughs> I'm continuing the story. I mean, no, no day is ever the same, right? And no experience is ever the same. I'm experiencing slightly different things um, in my relationship with, with, in my marriage. You know, I'm married now. You know, um, in in my fatherhood, in my friendships, in my brotherhoods, in my business, in my relationship with the fans, in my being a rapper. Everything is not the same as it was. You know, everything keeps changing. So the story will be told as seen. You know what I mean? Um, it's really like a, a, an entirely uh, real life story of what you see just broken down into lyrics and great songs. You know. Period. <laughs> It's understanding yourself and understanding exactly what you want and understanding um, what it takes. You know what I mean? Um, it's this 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 industry is a very difficult one with regards to keeping yourself and keeping who you are. So sometimes you, you when you start writing, see, I'll tell you about every rapper, every rapper in the world. I don't care if I've met them or not. When they start rapping, it's literally them just writing what they're thinking about. 
right? And as soon as they get into the industry, then they start writing what they think is expected of them, right? And they start becoming what they think is expected of them. And I think that's where the problem lies. So if, 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 if you're trying to be in this industry, just know that you're going to have to fight keeping yourself. You know, just keeping yourself and just keeping your head and making sure that that is yours, you know. Uh, if your name is Tabi, so you, you need to make sure that whoever your AKA is, um, say you, your name is, I don't know, Daful, right? But your real name is Tabi, so um, just make sure that Tabi so doesn't lose, I mean, Tafula doesn't lose who Tabi so is, yeah. <laughs>